Hey guys, welcome back to Tabletop Celts, and it's me, Jack. John's not here, unfortunately, because I'm on Tier 4 lockdown where I am, so uh, I can't see anybody outside of my household. So today I'm going to be doing something a little different from Games Workshop Games. Today I'm going to be playing a Warlord game called Bolt Action. Bolt Action is a World War II tabletop game. Um, I'm going to be using the starter set for the game which is US Airborne versus Waffen SS which is kind of like two elite forces so what I'm going to do guys I'm going to show you the army lists show you the map layout and the objective and stuff I'm playing and then we could just jump straight into the battle report so I will see you in just a sec now with the US army list Okay guys, so welcome to the US Army list. So when you get the starter set for Bolt Action, you get this kind of like um, piece of paper that comes in, and this is um, this shows you the army list you can make for US in the box. So what I've gone for, I've got three paratrooper squads, late war. Um, the first squad I've got, one guy has got a bargain, a bar, M191882 gun, which is a automatic rifle. The rest of them have just got rifles like carbines and one garand. Um, my second squad, I've got a submachine gun squad, which is like a squad full of like uh, Thompsons. Uh, and then also I've got another guy with a bar gun as well. And then my final squad I've gone for is kind of my supporting squad, I guess, which has got the LMG in it. So it's a, it's a light machine gun team. So I got two guys on the light machine guns. Uh, I got three guys with rifles and I got a guy with a bar gun again. So that's pretty much the force, uh, what I got all together, it's 269 points. Uh, some special rules you get with the US Airborne. They are the stubborn. Uh, so stubborn, I'll go, if it comes up in the game, I'll go through it because it's easier to explain that way. So they have a special rule called Stubborn. Uh, I've also paid for the Thompson squad and the rifle squads to have tank grenades. So it's also counted as a special rule. It's useful when they charge in vehicles and stuff. Uh, so the only one, the only squad that hasn't got anti-tank grenades is the LMG squad. Uh, I believe that's everything for this army list, guys. So I'll be back now in just a sec with the German army list. Okay guys, so welcome to the German army list. So I'll start off with the HQ choice I've gone for, for the Germans. I've got a first lieutenant, he's a veteran. Uh, what I also forgot to mention with the US Airborne is that they're all veterans. Um, so you have like different, um, different types of units. You have like regular, inexperienced, regular and veteran. So veteran is kind of like the top tier units. So that's it. my Airborne. My American Airborne are all veterans. Um, it's going to be the same with the Germans. So my HQ, my first lieutenant veteran, he's got a assault rifle. And he's got a guy with him with a just a regular rifle. I've got two units of Waffen SS infantry. I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Waffen. Um, so the first squad I've gone for... They got a light machine gun in the squad with the guy carrying the ammo. So there's two of them holding the light machine gun and then I got three rifles. Then my second squad, I've gone for, what have they got? So they got three rifles in there and they got, no sorry, they got two rifles in there and they got three assault rifles too. The last thing the Germans got is a Hangomanga half track. Um, so it's a transport vehicle. Uh, and basically all it's got is a front arc um, mounted machine gun on the front of that. I believe that's everything for the German army guys. So I'll be back now to show you the battlefield and what objective we're playing in just a sec. This is what we're playing today. The scenario 11 in the rule book. So called surrounded. So both players roll a dice. The highest score decides whether to be the attacker or the defender. Now for this, what I've done, 
Uh, I kind of imagine that the airborne have dropped down and now they're kind of surrounded by the Germans or like the Germans are counter-reacting to their deployment so the defenders are going to be the US and the Germans are going to be the attackers of the table and set up half of his units rounding down with 12 of the center of the table these units can use the hidden setup rules page 131 all other units are left in reserve see page 132 the attacker units are not set up on the table at the start of the game. The attacker must nominate half of his units rounding up to form his first wave and all other units are left in reserve. Uh, so my first wave for the Germans would probably be the half track and the light machine gun squad. So that would be the first half of my army for the Germans. Uh, the objective is simple. Both sides must attempt to destroy the other whilst preserving their own forces. Okay, cool. So it's basically team deathmatch. Uh, sorry for the lights a bit thing. So, confusion uh, reigns. The battle lines have become completely disordered. Reinforcements are pouring in from all directions. All units entering the table as reserves can enter from any point on any table edge except the one from which the last enemy reserve entered the same turn. This means that at the beginning of the following turn, the first reserve can come in from any table edge, watch out. Well, that's pretty cool, so I guess that's the surrounded aspect coming in. Keep track, so keep count of how many turns have elapsed as the game is played. At the end of turn six for a die, on a result of a one, two or three, the game ends. On a roll of a four, five, or six, the play you play for a further turn. So it can go up to seven turns. We'll just have to see how it goes. So at the end of so this is the victory conditions. So at the end of the game, calculate which ha which side has won by adding up victory points as followed. If one side scores at least two more victory points than the other, then that side has won a clear victory. Otherwise, the results deemed too close to call and honors are shared. A draw. Players score one victory point for every enemy unit uh, that's destroyed. Okay, so it's basically team deathmatch, guys. So what I'll do now, I'll show you the map layout. Okay, guys, so this is the map layout. So I've put a US Airborne squad in there. So the squad that I've put in... The, this ruin in the center here is the SMG squad. So there's five SMGs and a bar gun in there. So we've got some hard cover around the place. So we got two ruined houses. Uh, a, well, a ruined building in the center there. We got four walls. So once you're within them, uh, you're minus two to hit because it's hard cover. Uh, so if you're behind the walls by, inside those buildings, minus two. Uh, we got some hedges around the place. Over there, those are um, light cover, so they're minus one to hit. And then we got some trees, just so units can hide behind and stuff like that. Also, it kind of works similar to 40k. If a unit's here, you cannot see a unit there. If you remember, so it's obscuring. The only way you can see a unit if they're within the building itself. Okay, so they're obscuring. The walls are fine; it's just the buildings themselves. Um, so. So I've picked here now, I've got, this is my first wave of Germans. I've got my half track and I've got the LMG squad with four rifles. Then my second wave, or my reserves I should say, I've got my lieutenant and a squad with three assault rifles and two rifles. And then these are the allied reserves, so I got my rifle squad and my light machine gun squad. Now there are a few other things you need to play this game. So what I've got, I've got my regular D6 dice. I got a die to keep track of the turns. Uh, I've got order die for my units. So because I have four German units, I'll have four gray dice. And because I have three um, American units, I have three order die. And then these here, I've got a, well these are called pin markers. So um, once your units like get hit you put a pin on them because it affects morale and stuff like that uh, so the, this is also kind of like um, I don't know if you can see it but it's got like numbers on them so that's how you keep track of how many pins you got 
Uh, I've also got a dice bag to put my order dice in. So the way you do priority in this game, you put all the order dice in a dice bag, you shake up the bag and you plug a random die. And that's um, whose turn it is. Uh, I think that's everything, guys, for the map and everything like that. So I'll be back now in just a sec for turn one. Okay, guys, so this is turn one. So how it works, I put my reserves now over there on the side. Now, reserves can come in turn one, but you still put their order dice in the bag. If I um, draw like two American dice, because I have one on the table and the rest in reserve, I'll put the dice aside and I'll say that unit's gone down, which means that they're just off the board for a sec, and then turn two then they can start coming on. Same with the Germans. The only reason I put these here is because they are about to come on, because they are the first wave of Germans. So what I'll do now, I'll shake out my bag and then I'll draw an order dice. So I've got a German dice here. Um, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to I'm going to advance, so I can either advance or run the units up the board when they come in. So I'm going to give my half track an advance order. So it moves nine, which should be plenty enough room to get it to about there. That's where I want it. Uh, so I give that advance order. Now with the advance order, you can move and shoot. So you move half. You move normal movement so half tracker moves nine when it runs it moves 18 because you double it so I've moved nine and now I get to shoot so obviously I'm gonna shoot the guys in the building so because I have a mounted machine gun I have five shots now they're in the building so it's hard cover so it's minus two now because I'm in half my distance range so like a range for a mounted machine gun is like 30 36 range something like that so I'm well within 15 there um, I get plus one to that. So everyone hits on threes and then you add modifiers. So it's minus two, plus one, so I'm hitting on fours. Okay guys? So these are hitting on fours. Uh, oh, I only get the one hit. So what happens is now, I get one hit, so that means this unit takes a pin marker. Um, what that means, the pin marker, uh, is usually affected by morale and stuff like that. And if they can actually do an order, so they're under fire basically. Um, I don't get a pin marker for each hit I get, it's just pure unit. For example, if this shoots at them and then another unit shoots at them, and they both hit, they both, that's two pins, okay? So, I got one hit, and because they are veterans, it's going to need a five to wound. So, I get a six. Now, what that means is that if I roll another six after this, I get to pick who dies, okay? So, I don't roll... Another six, so I'm just going to kill off um, a random guy here. Basically, if, if you get two sixes in a row, one you wound in, your opponent gets to pick who dies instead of you. So I've lost one of the riflemen in there, and they've got a pit. So that's that unit done. Let me go back to the back. So I've scored my allied dice. Now, what I'm going to try and do which is a bit risky. So guys, I just have to check the rules quickly. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do attempt to charge the, um, the half track with that squad in there, because they do have anti-tank grenades, which gives them a bonus to this, basically. Um, so I'm going to give them a run order, which is basically a charge order. Now, what it is, because I've got a pin marker on me, I have to see if I actually follow that order. So like I'm under fire and then to see if my men are listening to me. Uh, so I'm leadership nine because I'm veteran. Usually the pin marker will make me a minus one, but because I'm stubborn, which is the special rule the airborne have, um, I ignore any pin markers for this test. Uh, so I roll five, six, seven, eight. So that means I've passed the test and I get to remove a pin marker. Uh, so a charge move will be 12, so what, I believe there's plenty of room to do this. Let me just double check for you guys, I'll measure it for you. Yeah, so everyone can literally get in, so 12 is by here, and there at the back guy by there. So I can charge the vehicle, and because I am more than 6 away from the vehicle, I get to, the vehicle gets to fire overwatch, even though it's already done a, uh, um, an order, it still gets to shoot. So it's five shots, um, so just be minus two plus one, so five, sorry guys. 
Uh, so I get three hits there. Now they do technically take another pin, um, but they can still do their charge. Uh, then it's going to be uh, fives to kill. So I got two sixes there. So if I get another two six, if I get like another six, which I don't, I would get the pick who dies. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this guy and this guy. Okay. Yeah. Now, because I've lost half my unit, so there were six in there altogether, and um, uh, so I've lost three. I have to do a courage test now to see if I stay or go. So I've got a pin mar pin marker back on me now. And this affects my morale, so I need lower than an 8. So I get a 8, which is fine. So I do pass my morale, so I needed an 8 or lower. So luckily I do pass my morale, so that removes the pin, and these guys get to charge um, the vehicle. Like so. Now what this means, they'll have an attack each. So I have three attacks, I'm hitting on fours, so it's four to six to hit in combat, so I'm hitting on fours, ooh, I do get one luckily, over here, sorry, so there's a four, so I get one hit, now because I got an anti-tank grenade, uh, this is how it works, so I roll a dice, so the defense of this, because it's an open top vehicle, it's 7. Okay, so I roll a d6 now. Now, I got one hit, so that means I get a plus 1 to this. So, let's say now all three of them hit, so I'll get plus 3 to this, I'll be a 4. So either way it fails. So if I, I needed a 6 really. So if I rolled a 6, and I had plus 1 because I had one hit, um, that would have been a 7, and that would have been the vehicle destroyed. So I failed my attack now. Um, the vehicle doesn't get to hit me back. What happens is my unit then does a regroup order, which means I roll a d6 and that's how far I move away from the vehicle. So I literally move one inch. So, um, it's literally like this. That's how far away I move. So they've done a regroup order away from the vehicle. That's actually going to be like that because I have to be one inch away from it. So something like that. Ooh, so that was a failed attempt to actually charge the vehicle. Okay, let's get another order die out. So I get another ally die. Now because my reserves can't come on, I'm going to have to put a down order on one of my units off the board. Wherever the hell down is. There it is. So I'll put this on the, my rifle squad. Next order. Got a German die. So I'm, I'm going to bring on this infantry squad here. And I'm going to give them an advance order from this edge to here. So they are going to move 6 inches onto um, the board here. Advance them on 6. Now because they advance, they get to shoot. So it's minus 1 because I moved. However, I'm in point blank range for both the LMG and the rifle. So that uh, cancels out that minus 1. Uh, plus they're out in the open. Uh, so they don't get any minuses so it's just going to be three rifle shots hitting on threes so we do get two hits there so that's another pin marker um, then it's fives to wound so they don't kill anyone and then we got the LMG which is this guy here he's got four shots with an LMG and because he's also hitting them without any cover um, it's threes, so he gets another hit on them, well three hits on them, once again it's not another pin marker because it's coming from the same squad, and then it's going to be fives to kill, so they do kill another guy, so I will remove this guy here. So this squad is actually taking a hammer in right now, so that's their order done, back to the order done. Uh, actually, because both all the units are gone, and no more units can actually come on the board. What I'm going to do, all the dice then will just become down orders. So all the rest of the units off the table will just go down until turn two. 
Okay guys, so what I'll do now, I'll collect all the order dice in and then I'll be back for turn two in just a sec. Okay guys, so all the order dice are back in, so I'm just going to shake it up and draw a random one out. So I do have an ally dice. Uh, right, the question is, where do I want to do? I am just going to go for it, I think. These guys are going to try and charge the vehicle again and hope for the best. So I'm going to give them a run order. Uh, there it is. Now, I've got a pin on me, so I have to make a test. So I need... Ooh, I still get it on a 9. So the, remember, because they're stubborn, they're not affected by the pin. So I do get to charge the vehicle. Now, because I'm within 6 of the vehicle, um, the vehicle can't overwatch me. So I've got two attacks. Uh, hit on fours. Right, so I do get one. And then to actually blow out the vehicle, I need another six. Oh, yeah. So what happens? Because um, I get plus one, because I got one hit. Plus one, so that's seven. And because the armor of the vehicle is a seven, the guy throws a grenade in and it blows the vehicle. And the vehicle, is the unit's now removed from the game. So, we did lose a lot of guys doing that. Now, because I've done that, now I get to make a call, um, what's the word? Uh, a regroup order, that's what I'm looking for. So they get to make a regroup order now, so they move a D6 away. So they move an inch away, so an inch would be just like this. So they're behind the wall. So that's their order done. And then we draw an order dice. Damn, that's exciting. And I've drawn an order dice now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get these Germans now to just open up fire on these guys. So we'll go for a fire order. I'm not sure. Actually, guys, give me two seconds. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I was checking if a vehicle gets destroyed, do you leave it on the board? I couldn't find anything in the rule box, so I'm just assuming a unit's destroyed, so you remove it. So imagine they threw a grenade and it just completely shattered it and it's just crumbled on the floor. So, or it's like rolled away off the board on flames or something. So this squad is going to open up fire on this squad now. So I got three rifles. Minus two because of this cover, but because they're in close range, it's um, a minus one. But because they're a small unit, it's back up to minus two. So they're hitting on fives, okay? Um, so they don't get any hits there. And we'll shoot the LMG. Or the light machine gun. So we get a hit with the LMG. So that's a pin marker. Then it's a five to kill someone. And, for, and luckily for the US everyone, they don't get a kill. So they just take a pin, and then we go back to the order dice, because units can start coming on now. And they can come on from whatever board edge they want. Um, so I got a US airborne dice. Um, question is, what do I want to do? I'm going to, because I can't bring in a, a unit from this edge, because these guys came from there, I believe. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come on this side with my light machine gun squad and I'm going to come from that way and I'm going to give them a advance order. So I'm going to try and go behind that bush but there. Okay guys, so I advanced those guys on 6 inches. Now I've had a quick lock, I drew a line of sight with a measuring tape. Those three guys there, so I got um, three guys by here, they can't see anyone. Because of the trees. The rifleman, he can see. Um, oh, sorry, he can't see because there's more than one thing in the way. But the LMG has a clear line of sight th through there onto this guy here. So I'm on, uh, I'm on range there. So the LMG has four shots. It's going to be long range. Um, so it's minus one for long range, minus one because they're in light cover. Um, and minus one because they moved, so it's going to be sixes. No wait, minus one because they moved, long range, yeah, it's going to be sixes. So the LMG doesn't get any hits, you just shot in the dark and hope for the best. Nice. So that's that squad board on that side. Yeah, another order dice. 
so I've drawn another um, Allied dice. Now the question is, where do I want to bring these guys in? Hmm. What it is as well, sorry, my table's a bit of a weird shape. So it's it's not like square, where you just go, oh, that way, that way, that way. Um, I think, guys, I kind of want to bring my squad and kind of link up with that squad over there. So I'm going to bring the rifleman squad in behind them and I give the rifleman squad a run order so they can get behind those bushes there. Okay guys just to show you what I've done these guys have ran nine inches from there to there so that's my rifle squad next to my LMG squad. Um, now because all the US dice have gone out the only dice left in here are the German ones. So I got three German dice left. Uh, actually sorry I forgot to once the unit died once the half track died, I forgot to move the order dice. So there's one less in there. So they got they got two order dice left. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually instead of splitting up my force, I'm gonna bring him on this way. Uh, so I'm going to advance both of them onto the onto the field. So they move six inches from here. Uh, so my lieutenant and the other infantry squad are going to go up this way. Okay, so what I've done, I got the infantry squad here and my HQ here. Now luckily they're obscured from the trees for later on. So I'll start off with my HQ unit, they're going to shoot at the squad in front of them. So the lieutenant himself has an assault rifle. So it's minus two because he they're behind hard cover. But because they're in point blank range, it's plus one. However, it's another minus one because they've moved so it's minus two altogether so he'll be hitting on fives so he does get a hit so that'll be another second pin marker on them I'll mark it off with this dice um, then it'll be a five to kill Ooh, what did he get a three so he didn't kill him then we got the rifleman with the lieutenant uh, he hits uh, does he wound he doesn't wound then we've got three assault rifles, so the two shots each. Hitting on fives, for the same reasons as the HQ. Um, so they get three hits. Ooh, this could be the end of them. And that's another pin, because it's a different squad. Fives to kill. Ah, sorry guys, it was actually sixes. Um, sorry about that guys, I think, I think I got two sixes there. If I didn't, I do apologise. And the reason it's sixes is because they're also a small squad. Sorry if I got that wrong. Um, so, uh, so he gets a kill. So, we'll kill this guy with the bargain. Sorry about that, guys. Um, then, because he's lost half his unit, he has to make a morale check now to see if he stays. So he's at minus three now, so he needs below a six. So he needs a six or a blow to stay, uh, unfortunately. So because he got a above a six, he either, he either runs away or gets captured by the enemy. And that unit and that dice has been destroyed. So right now it's one all for deaths to for the enemy. Uh, well for the Germans and the um, Americans. Uh, and I believe, guys, that's the end of turn two, and I'll be back now. I'll collect all the order dice, and I'll be back for turn three in just a sec. Okay, guys, so I've collected all the order dice. So the, the Americans have two order dice, and the Germans have three. Let's see what happens. So I've got a German dice. Now, I'll show you something cool, guys, with the uh, with a HQ unit. So what I'm going to do, because um, I'm a lieutenant, I can call everyone, or everyone within six to also take an order. Uh, I th no, I think it's, yeah, I think it's two units because I'm a first lieutenant or something like that. So everyone within six now, I can take an order die out of the bag, and I can get them to do an order. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give everyone a advance order. Okay guys, so what I've done, I've picked all three of the dice out, so I moved my... Uh, HQ here. Um, I moved that squad here 
So that's the rifle squad and the LMG has moved through the bushes here. Now, to move through the bushes, I can't run, I have to do an advance order because it's an obstacle. It's the same with jumping over walls and stuff like that, okay? So these guys have advanced now. Um, and the only unit that can really shoot is these guys. So these guys can shoot through the trees, uh, well, through the gap between the building and the trees, and aim for the LMG squad. Now, because they advance, they can do that. Um, oh, sorry guys, I forgot to put a, an advance dice on everyone. Uh, the German, these two won't be able to shoot because of, there's no line of sight for them because of the building, and he can't shoot through his own unit, okay? So it's just this squad shooting at that squad there. So I've got three assault rifles. They're 18 range, so I'm just going to double check to see if they are actually within range. Because, like I, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, there's no pre-measuring in this game. So you kind of have to um, give it a shot. So my assault rifles are a range of 18 from there to there. It's those three at the front. So, But my rifles are 30, so I do get to shoot two rifles. Now, it's long range. It's light cover, and I've moved, so it's going to be sixes, and I don't get any hits. Now, because there was, I used all three of my order dice, I just got two American dice left. What I'm going to do, I'm going to advance the rifle squad. I'm going to keep them behind the building. I'm going to advance them through the bushes. I'm going to advance the LMG slightly, and I'm going to see if I can do some return fire over here. Okay. So these ones can shoot, because they're still behind the building, and they can't see anything beyond it. However, these guys now, I've rearranged these guys slightly, and so now they all have line of sight on this squad here. So, I'm going to shoot my rifles. Well, I'm going to shoot my bar, my bar gun first. Um, so, the rifles are 24, so they're in range. The bar gun's 30, they're in range, and so is the LMG. So, the bar gun first, hitting on. So, they've moved, they're hitting on sixes because heavy cover, and they've moved. So the bar gun misses. I've got three rifles. Uh, they get a six, so that's a pin marker. Then my LMG uh, also gets it. So I got two hits through. And then because they are veterans, it's going to be fives to kill. Which I don't get any, but I do put a pin marker on them. Okay guys, so that's the end of turn three. It's kind of heating up a bit now. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to kind of prepare the Germans to kind of deal with this front. Maybe line them up against the wall. Maybe try and get them in there. Uh, with the US, I'm, my regular squad, I'm going to attempt to get them in the building. Uh, and I'm going to keep them covered with the LMG squad. That's what I'm thinking so far for turn four. Um, so I'll be back in just a sec, guys. Okay, guys, I collected all the order dice. Let's see what we draw. Come on, get off. Uh, so I got a German dice. Hmm. What I'm going to do... Hmm. I'm not quite sure, to be honest with you. Um, uh, sorry guys, I'm just trying to think, because if I advance over the wall and they enter the building, I'm kind of out in the open. Um, I don't, you can't um, run into buildings, I'm pretty sure you have to advance into them. Yeah, sorry, I've done it wrong. Um, you can actually run into a building, you can't advance into a building. Uh, so these guys, I'm going to give them a run order. So I'll draw another order die. Now I got the American dice. So what I'm going to do... Oh, sorry guys, I've done a mistake here. I have to check to see if I can actually um, do that order. So, because uh, uh, I got a pin, it's minus one to my bravery. Um, but because I was in six of the of the of of my lieutenant, I ignore that. So I need... But no one... Uh, that's a big... Right. So what happens is, actually guys, apologies. Because I rolled higher. Uh, luckily, that's not a fool bar. Uh, what it is, instead of me actually doing the order, I take a down order. So I, I think it was something like this. Sorry guys, completely forgot about that. So basically, I keep the pin marker now, and I take a down order. 
Now what down does, it gives you uh, an extra minus two to hit. Which I'll show you how that works in a sec. So I fill my test to go into the building, so that what I would have done, I take down. Uh, then I drew a American dice, apologies for that guys. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to run... Mm, yes, I'm going to run my Rifleman squad into the building. Okay guys, so my guys have just ran into the building there. Uh, they can't shoot because it was a run order. So we draw another dice now. Yeah. Right, I got a German dice. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give these guys a run order and they are going to run into the building. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, so... What the hell's the run? So there's a run order. So these guys are going to run and they are just going to go... Actually, they're going to have to go around the wall. But I still should be fine. Because they're not hopping over the wall because they need to advance over it. So... So... There's the 12, that red there, so they're going round and that clearly gets him into the building where he is there, okay? So these guys are just going to go flood in behind him, like so. So they have their run order, once again they can't shoot. It's just um, repositioning really, so everyone gets cover and stuff like that. So we got two dice left, we've got an American die and we've got a, a German die. See what we get? Got an ally die. Um, so it's just that squad at the back there. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to flank, I think. I'm going to go round over here. So I'm going to give those guys also a run order. So we're going to reposition. Now they've entered the building, so they covered them. Now they're going to cover... Oh, excuse me. They're going to cover them while they go round. So they are going to go for a run. Which is... Dun, 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 right here. So guys... They're going to move 12. Give me two seconds. Okay, guys, so I moved them there. Now, I could have gone a bit further if I wanted to, but I would have been out in the open, so I just rearranged them in cover, but there. So I got the three Rifleman, Bargain, and LMG. So they're there, Rifleman there. Then the last dice is the German dice, which will be my um, HQ unit. So what the HQ unit is going to do, he is going to advance behind this wall here for better cover, like so. And that's the end. Uh, can I shoot anything, actually? Uh, yeah, I could probably shoot a rifle shot from uh, the rifleman here. So there's 24, and he's hitting the bar gun laying on top of there. So it's still going to be one shot. Uh, it's long range. Uh, it's definitely not a three, because it's long range like cover. But it was worth a try. So they've shot as well. Okay guys, so that's all the orders done, so I'll collect them in now, and we'll be back for turn 5 in just a sec. Okay guys, so this is turn 5, and the dice are in the bag, we're shaking it up, see what we get. And we've got a German die. Mm. So I'm going to open up with the light machine gun squad, and they are going to shoot into the American light machine gun squad. So they all got line of sight. So we're just going to give them a fire order. So we'll do the LMG first with four shots. So they haven't moved. Um, it's long range. Actually, is it long range? 15. And the LMG is slightly out, but they're like that. He's in front of the bush. So it's long range. So that's a minus one. They're behind light cover, so that's another minus one. So it's going to be fives. Uh, so the LMG misses with all the hits, just goes straight into the bushes. Then we've got three riflemen, so fives again, now they get two hits, and that's a pin for the ally squad, boop, and then it's fives to kill. Now they got a kill, and if I roll another six, which I don't, um, they would have got to pick a random guy, so I'm just going to take this back rifleman. Oh, sorry, I don't know if you saw that. I took a back right from one over there. Uh, that's that squad done. Now we go back to the dice bag. We got another German die. Um, hmm. What do I want to do? I tell you what, we're going to try and put some pins on that squad in there. So we're going to attempt to fire 
these guys into those guys. So, because I'm minus one because of the pin, but because of my lieutenant, I'm not minus one anymore. So it's just a straight below nine. Now I roll a five, so that's below nine. So I move the pin, and I get to shoot. So 18 inches, which I believe I'm in. I don't think I'm in nine though. No, so I'm out of nine, but I'm definitely within 18. Am I within 12 with my rifles? Nope, so it's gonna be long range for everybody. So I've got two rifles, long range, um, and it's a minus two because they're in hardcover, so it's going to be uh, sixes. Ooh, so the rifleman gets a hit. That's a pin. Uh, does he wound? He does not, because there's fives to kill uh, elites. Then we've got three LMGs, so that's six shots. LMGs, um, assault rifles, sorry. That would be a mental. Uh, so, sixes. So they get one hit, five to kill. But they don't kill, so they just put a pin on them. Which is something. Well, actually, because they're stubborn, I guess it doesn't really matter thinking about it. <laughs> uh, but if they take more losses, there will be a morale problem, I guess. So we got one German die left, which is the HQ. Oh, and I picked it. Um, what do I actually want to do with the HQ? Because I think he's safe at the moment. Well, I guess a few riflemen could see him. But he's behind hard cover. Uh, I tell you what, this guy is just going to fire. And he's going to shoot into the, that squad in there. Just going to measure to see if his assault rifle is within 18. So yeah, he is within 18. So 18 is where my finger is. And they're going over the building, through the window, touching that guy there. So two shots from him. Long range, so it would be sixes. Nothing, and the rifleman. Ooh, rifleman hits, that's another pin. So that's two pins. And does he kill someone? No. Okay, uh, then, because all the Germans are gone, it's just the US Airborne turn, so what am I going to do? Um, I think I'm pretty much going to focus fire on the, those guys in there. So, because the LNG is kind of scary. So, these both both these squads are going to attempt to fire. Uh, where's the fire? Uh, there it is, somewhere, there it is. So I'm putting two fire orders on these guys, but I have to roll courage first. So those guys need below a nine. That's a nine exactly, remember, because of their special rule, they ignore the pin markers. So they take a pin down, so they've only got one pin left. Um, so the bargain, they're probably all within half range. So the bargain's 30, so that's 15, and I think that's probably about 12. But we'll double check. Yeah, that's definitely within 12 there. So... We're close range, so we're minus one because of the pin, but we're close range, so that cancels that out. Um, and we're just minus two then for the heavy cover, so we're hitting on fives. So I'll do the bargain first with two shots. Uh, the bargain gets a hit, so that's a pin. And then it's going to be fives to kill, which he doesn't. Then we've got oof, one, two, three, four, five, six riflemen. Uh, one, two, three, so that's going to be math six, <laughs> six dice, like so, Ooh. so fives, uh, the rifle will get two hit, and then it's going to be fives to wound, ooh, we do get a wound, so we do kill one, um, I'll just take, uh, this guy by here. I don't think they did. I think that's the first Germans. Oh no, they did lose the half track as well. I was gonna say, airborne weren't doing so good. Uh, then the LMG squad there is gonna try and shoot at them as well. So they need to do a morale check. So they get a nine as well, luckily. So they lose their pin and they can open up fire. So I'll do the LMG first. That's probably all at long range. So long range and heavy cover. So it's sixes. So, ooh, damn, uh, NMG hits, so that's, uh, that's two pins, so that guy, they've got one pin, um, 
he's got two pence. So they got the, the LMG got two sixes, sorry, I don't know if I recorded that. My bad. Uh, then it's gonna be fives to kill. They do lose another one. So I'm just gonna take this guy. He's airborne, got some deadly shots. Then we've got a bargain. Hitting on sixes, no. And then we have two riflemen. Hitting on sixes, no. So they took a casualty and they took two pins. So that's that's pretty good. That's pretty damn freaking good. So guys, that's all the orders done for turn five. And we'll go on to possibly the last turn now in just a sec. Okay guys, so here we are for turn six. Sorry, I just had a bit of a break, so. Um, yes, so turn six for the order dice. So this is potentially the last turn. So we got a German die, so a German order. Uh, I kind of want to open fire up on these guys, the kind of, the more pins, the more bad accuracy they are, I guess. So I'm going to give these guys a shooting order. And they're going to open up on them. So they're SMGs. So it's long range. Uh, it's sixes because it's minus two for the building and they're at long range. Uh, they didn't get any hits. We got two rifles. Um, uh, same again. Uh, and a two and a three, they didn't hit anything. Still worth a try though. So that's that unified. Next die, we have got an ally die. Um, basically, I'm just going to try and finish this squad off. Um, so I'm going to shoot that back squad into these guys. So my uh, the American light machine gun team is going to open fire. So I'll do the LMG first. So it's four shots. It's long range. Um, actually, is it long range? Did I measure before? Dean is there. Right, so my LMG is in range. It's like hitting it by that. So it's in short range. So short range it is just the minus one because it's minus two because the short range is minus one so it's fours so i get a hit so that's three pin markers on them now i changed the dice out as well guys so i don't accidentally pick it up so uh, was it three sorry um two hits sorry then it's going to be fives to kill I do kill a guy. Uh, now the thing is, I'll just take this guy here. So this is the guy carrying the ammo. I still got an LMG and the sergeant in there. Then we've got a bar gun. Um, bar gun is 30. I was within 15, so it was just minus one, even if it was a minus two, I get two hits. And then it's fives the kill. I do get a kill, and I get to roll it again, and on a six, I don't get, but I still kill one. Um, uh, I'm gonna kill the LMG, just because the, um, the NCO has better courage. Right, I do also have two rifles to shoot as well. Um, that's one hit. Five's a kill. Oh, well, that's close. Uh, and I don't kill. Now, because that squad has lost more than half, they have to take a morale test, a minus three. So they need to roll below a six on two dice. Unfortunately, the Germans... Um, well, unfortunately for the Germans, that's... Um, above a six, so this unit is counted as being killed. Like so. So that's another dice out of the bag for the Germans. Um, oh, that's the Allied dice. Where is it? There we 
There we go. Yeah. So, so far the Allies are winning, just because they have killed more. Then we'll go over to the next day, John. The German day. Uh, to be honest, all he's going to do, they're just going to open fire on these guys. So I'll do the guy, long range, um, minus sixes. Uh, so he fails the rifle, uh, also misses. Uh, then the last die, and there's the ally die. We'll grab, flip the tree over. Yeah. Put that back in so it looks nice. <laughs> uh, then these guys are going to try and open up on this squad here. So I'm going to put a fire. Dying. Uh, they're going to need to see if they actually do the order I've given them. So they need to roll below a 9, which they do. So they remove the pin. Um, so I got the bar gun. Uh, that's a definite hit. So that's a pin on them. Uh, do I kill someone? Oh, I kill someone too. So that's the NCO. I'll take this guy at the back. So I kill a rifleman. Uh, then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six rifles. Uh, 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 actually, I don't know. I can't remember if I'm within 12. Uh, no, I'm up to 12, so it's going to be long range. So, it's six rifle shots. One, two, three, yep. Long range, it's minus two, so it's sixes, so we do get a hit. And five to kill, Ooh, uh, because we kill one. Then if I get another six, I don't, I just kill another guy, so I will take uh, um, the other rifleman. Yeah. Okay guys, so that's all the turns gone. I roll the dice now to see if it continues. So on a one of three, one to three, the game ends. Uh, four, five, or six, the game continues for another round. So I roll a two, and that's the end of the game. Okay guys, so I just ran the mission again. It says I have to score um, at least two more points. So at the moment, I've killed two units, so that's two for America, I've killed. The Americans have killed two units, and the Germans have killed one. Um, so that only leaves the American with one point in the lead. So I have to kill three units, really, to take the lead. So because of this now, it's technically a draw, and um, both units just fall back and regroup. Okay, so this is my thoughts on just the battle in general, and uh, on bold action as a whole. So I have played bold action in the past. Uh, it's been a while since I played it with someone else. Like I had a few games for myself like a day or two ago after I painted everything up. Uh, I do really do like the mechanics of this game. It's a pretty solid game. I love the fact you order dice for each unit and then you put it in the bag and that's how you get a priority. I do like that. It keeps it very interesting. Like, oh, you go and then I go. Because it can work out quite against you as well. Like if you get all your order dice in the early turn, well, it just leaves the enemy then to do a counter-attack sort of thing. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I love the way um, the minuses to hit work. So you all hit on threes. And then there's like obstacles in the way that give you penalties for hitting, which is pretty cool. Uh, now for the scenario surrounded, I did like it. Like I imagined the airborne just like drop it down. And then that unit was stuck in that building. And then, and then the reinforcements like heard the shooting. So they tried to catch up. But unfortunately, they couldn't get there in time because the Germans just wiped them out. Uh, but I did like the fact that even though there was like two guys left or two or three guys left, they still managed to take out the half truck. So other units won't have to deal with it. Uh, and then the Germans then came off and finished off that unit. Um, I think if I had more units, like I said, this was, it was a small game. This It was like, what, 300, 370 points. If I had more, I could have made more use of coming in from different board edges. But because I have a small unit, it made... Excuse me, it made more sense for them coming together. So, like, it was a stronger idea. Like, I did love the idea that two units came. One stayed in the bushes, covering one. Then, as one moved to the house, and then the one in the house came in. And then the LMG squad, and then he was supporting the LMG squad. I did like that. Um, I did like, as well, with the German, uh, the German officer. Like, he can pull all the dice out of the bag and give his units dice um, orders at that time. I mean, that can be used very useful. Like if you have a un an enemy unit out in the open, 
and then you can just like, oh, everyone's firing on that unit, and you can take out a unit that way. So it's pretty cool. Um, and I, I do apologize, I didn't paint some of the terrain. Like the two ruined houses and the ruins in the middle, I didn't quite paint. Uh, but I was thought it was more important painting the miniatures and stuff. I hope you enjoyed the battle report. I will be playing some more of this in the future. I'm going to add some more to the armies. Because uh, I'm in lockdown, it's kind of awkward at the moment. I have to order stuff in offline and stuff. So it's a bit fiddly to get stuff at the moment. Um, I'm waiting to see if John likes the way this game plays. Because I'm a real big fan of it. Um, but I'm not too sure how he thinks. He is interested in playing it because he likes World War II and stuff. Uh, he will probably do a Russian army. So we'll see how what he's like now. I hope you enjoyed this battle report. If you do, please feel free to leave a like. Also, uh, just leave some of your thoughts. If I did anything wrong, please let me know in the comments below. I can always use uh, a few extra minds pointing out some stuff that I've missed. Uh, anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.